Our top story this midday, the Dare County Sheriff's Office relaunched its investigation and search for Lynn Jackenheimer this morning. The Ohio mother disappeared after vacationing in Salvo last week. Her estranged boyfriend, Nathan Summerfield, is a person of interest in this case. Ten Year Side's Andy Fox is in Dare County right now where that search continued this morning. And Andy, we understand that Ms. Jackenheimer's family wants to be part of that search. Yes, we just interviewed the brother, Sean. Uh, he was here and he met with the deputies. Uh, they have now left the area. They're going to be coming back. Uh, this is the command center that the uh, Dare County Sheriff's Office has set up. This is actually video that we shot earlier. Let's take a look at that. We got deputies uh, out in the bushes and the trees. There was a lot of rain out there, which really complicated the search. Ten on your side got here early morning. Uh, the search is covering the area around the cottage where Lynn and Nate that Lynn and Nate rented. Several law enforcement are arriving, helping in the search. Several agencies, almost all of them, down here on the Outer Banks. Uh, there are no canines. There are no boats involved in the search. Uh, weather has been a real problem down here today. Uh, that is preventing helicopter search. There was a lot of rain this morning as detectives searched the bushes and trees. Ten on your side met up with Lynn's brother, Sean, who is now on scene and trying to help in the search. Just hoping for the best. Um, just trying to get down here and help out in any way. I mean, we'd like to thank everybody down here too. That's been more than a blessing for sure. Um, it's confusion, man. I mean, we just want to know where she's at. Want to bring her home. One way or another. I mean, we just want this to come to a close. You know. I mean, more than anything, we want to be able to take her home to her kids. Go out and look everywhere we can. Just. What do you want other people to do? Please get out there and help us. Anything you can do. Anything. I mean, The family is just uh, obviously devastated by this whole thing. Dare County Chief Deputy Steve Hoggard is here. And Steve, you met with the brother, Sean. Uh, what did you all go over? What do you want the family to do? We just gave them a basically a synopsis of what we've been doing. Uh, certainly, we want them to help us. Uh, we welcome their assistance, and we're glad they're here. What did they say to you about what they want to do in the search? Well, they just, they just want to find Lynn. They just want to finally and bring her home. What has been the strategy on how you've set this up logistically? I know you've been working with grids. You've looked at the cottage where they were staying. You're looking at wooded area around. Tell me about that. We've had uh, search units in the wooded areas near the cottage and in the neighborhood that the cottage is in. We've also had um, uh, units down here in the, um, the seashore in the areas near the Salvo Day Use area. Um, and we've been doing directed searches in, in certain places that we wanted to be and then we're doing random searches in places that look and like for the folks at home tell them what the difficult search <clears throat> this is there are so many wooded areas that you are sh searching I mean brush uh, let me just show you real quick what we're dealing with stay here Steve. over here this is what we're dealing with over here look at all this this is the type of terrain that we're dealing with you know this is where they're possibly looking for a body and so it's very difficult isn't that right steve isn't this what your challenge it's, is it's thick brush yes sir it's really thick and, and it's hard to get in and out of yeah and how do you do that how do you do that you just walk in and walk out and take the briars and the cactus and whatever else have you found anything no sir Nothing Not a at thing, all. no sir. You're going to have to get lucky on this one, aren't you? Well, we're going to work hard. Have you been able to pinpoint any more direct areas where the body may be? Uh, not at this time. And in the search warrant, you said, you know, of course we know from the 911 tape, Nate said that he strangled, he strangled her and then uh, buried the body. There was also some information about that he put her under some brush. How, can you define that more about what he may have done with the body? That's exactly the information we had from Ashland, Ohio. Uh, and as you can see, there's, there's a lot of brush here. But, you know, we're going to look as hard as God will let us look. Well, Steve, I know that Dare County is doing a great job down here. Thank you very Thank much you, for sir. spending yes, time sir. with us. Thank and it's, we also want to say that it is a full frontal assault here. We've got the Dare County Sheriff's Office, lots of other sheriff's offices. We have police departments. And another important note here. After they left, I have confirmed that they left here on Friday morning at 8.30 and dropped off the key at the Realty Office. They then went to Richmond and stayed at a Richmond hotel. 
the family, Sean, on the way down, actually went to that hotel and searched around the hotel, just finding whatever he can, anything at all. And that's the desperation that this family feels to find Lynn and take her home to her children one way or the other, as I was told by Sean. Guys, that's the latest here from Salvo. Back to you. Andy, a difficult search, a difficult time for that family. We'll look for the latest on this starting at 5 on what happened today. Thank you, Andy Fox.